Good morning. I'm just going to bring you along with me today in a regular example of what I eat in a normal kind of midweek day. It's definitely different on the weekends, but this would be like Monday to Friday, what I'm eating as a pole dancer. I'm doing this because I love to share my cooking on Instagram and lots of people kind of ask me uh, how I organize it all and what a regular day would look like kind of with training and teaching and things like that. So here we go. Obviously, this is not intended to be a guide or anything in any way. It's literally just a snapshot of my life on a plate. Okay, so I definitely, definitely start every day straight away with coffee. I like to have a tiny little bit of milk and then uh, the rest is like a long black in my machine. Now, in reality, I definitely have two of these every morning, one straight after the other. Uh, the first one is like my junky one that I need to get straight. The second one is like the joyful one. I then normally make a banana bread or an oat muffin on a Monday and then that will last me for breakfast for like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday depending on how much I make and I change the flavor today well this week I made uh, espresso flavor with banana bread and uh, I ate it with nut butter and there's my baby having breakfast too. <laughs> Then I like to have a big glass of water and take my vitamins. This is vitamin D, iron, fish oil, and magnesium. Snack time is definitely not always the same. It's generally like a piece of fruit and then something yummy. So I had this a veggie jerky, which I'd never tried before, but I had it today and it was actually really nice. It'll often be like crackers uh, or rice crackers or something like that and hummus that I make myself as well because I fucking am obsessed with hummus. <laughs> and also this blackberry tree that is like over my fence. I go and eat off every single day. And oh, Look, she's having another coffee. Shock. Okay. <laughs> then uh, for lunch, I'm cooking, but this will last for a few days for my partner and myself. So uh, today I cooked this like Indian dal chickpea dish. Uh, it was so nice with like coconut milk. That's coconut milk and spinach in there with a couple of spices and things. So nice and like heaps of Greek yogurt. Oh, hey, little Roomba. Heaps of Greek yogurt. Oh, on the top so good so you have like a cup or so of that but I really liked it so I had a little bit more <laughs> uh, and um, that will last for a little while it's so so nice So as you can see, we had a big lunch today, like quite a hearty lunch. So I'm cooking dinner and you can see it's only four o'clock. I'm doing this because I have to go to class. So dinner is slightly smaller today, just a tray of roasted veggies for Nick and I. So I will often cook earlier in the day and then uh, I'll have that ready. So that then when my partner gets home from work, he has dinner ready for him and I have it all done. So I either eat before I just like right before I go to work or uh, I will have it like half as I go and then half when I come back. Whilst I'm teaching classes, not privates, but classes, I always like to have uh, a big cup of BCAAs and then I often put an extra scoop of glutamine in there as well. So I get that ready and take that to class with me. It just helps me to stay hydrated while I'm teaching. So I remember, oh my God, look, she's having another coffee. I always have a coffee if I have a big night of classes. Also, lastly, before I go, I have my protein. Now, again, depending on when I've had dinner, if I've had it, I'm not hungry, I'll have this after class otherwise before class. So then when I get home, 
if I'm hungry, like if I haven't eaten my dinner or all of it, I'll eat the rest of it or have the protein if I haven't had that yet. But my nightly ritual to kind of decompress is to have a Milo. I make a Milo every night and kind of lay on the couch and then I go to bed. So I have Milo, lots of hot water, milk, maybe a sweetener in there as well and enjoy. Like I said, changes every weekend changes every day slightly but this is a pretty standard example of my day thanks for coming and i'll see you in the next one